Hi engineers, in this video we will look into two more chart components, line chart and stack bar chart. Before going into the line chart, I would suggest you to go through the first video in this series as some props in the line chart will be common as we have learned in the bar chart video. The description of this video will contain a link to the playlist. I will create a new component, line chart demo. I will add it to this app.tsx file. I will comment out this bar chart demo. As some of the props will be common with the bar chart, first I will copy paste the code from the bar chart one. Start kit. This bar chart data is from we see there are some props which are not there in line chart. So first let's remove them. cool so now no more errors let's give it a run okay so this is how our line chart is looking let's change this text now let's see some specific props related to line chart now in line chart we can have multiple data sets for example we are currently showing lines of code written from day 1 to day 5 this labels is on the x axis and this data is on the y axis but we are not showing which month we can display lines of code from day 1 to day 5 of different months like january and february in the same graph so we will do that so for that let's not manipulate this data i will create a new data So here the chart data is coming from the bar chart. For line chart, we can have a different type from TypeScript. I will show you how I can determine this type. So go to the chart.ts file. Like if we press on the command button and click on this, it will open this line chart.d.ts. So here we will see this line chart data, which exchange the chart data and it has this extra legend so what we can do here is inside this dist there is this line chart folder and inside this there is the line chart see now from the line chart I will take the line chart data and add it in here and I will rename it line chart data. Now here I can add a another property legend. Now legend is like if we have a single data set like 
currently we have a single data set we can say suppose it is for January but suppose we also want it for February also so what I will do since this data set is an array I will copy this add a new element suppose this is 30 45 50 100 and then back to 50 so let's do one thing instead of these colors I will remove all this and I will give color which is a single color for all now I have removed this color array and just used a single green color we can use the colors but we have already seen that in the bar chart demo what we can do now we will use this uh, this will be line chart I will take this line chart data now and use it in here Here we see this red colored and green colored line chart. So there are two data sets. In legend there is this green colored dot and this text January. Here in legend we can add a different month. So this one is for January and this one is suppose for February. So the first prop that we can change is suppose we want to remove this shadow for that we will use a prop with shadow to false see it has gone another prop that we can use is suppose I want to change these dots by default it will take the color of this line itself suppose I want to make it yellow we can use the get dot color prop Now this get dot color is a function which returns me the string color. As we see here, data point and the index. So data point is each of these points like these dots. And depending on the data points, if you want to manipulate the color, we can do it. But for this example, we can use here just yellow. See, it has become yellow. Now another prop that we can use is suppose I want to hide a index suppose I don't want this day 4 so it is at index 0 1 2 3 hide points at index now we can hide at multiple indexes that's why there is a array but here since we are only hiding this we can just write 3 now this will be gone now let's suppose I want to style this dot currently there is a yellow dot now I want to have a kind of border around this dot also so for that inside this chart config there is a dot props props for dots so this is an object r which is 6 so r is the radius so this radius will increase another object is stroke width suppose this is 3 there is no effect because we have to also give a stroke color stroke black see so in this way we can style the dots we can also suppose increase the width of this line it is called stroke for that I will go to this and do a stroke width of suppose I give here this is a string but I have to give a number and uh, here we can also like change the stroke width one last prop that we can use is the Bezier Bezier prop allows these dots to be connected in curvy lines so we can just add a single prop Bezier so this will connect in a curve okay these are the various props in line chart now let's look into the tag bar chart. I will create a new component tag bar chart demo and add it to the app.tsx. Once again, let's first copy the code from bar chart demo and then modify it.
import the stacked bar chart stack bar chart data okay there is a error in this data some of the props are missing we will fix this data thing let's look into the other props so this thing we don't need we can remove all this now we have to fix the data now in case of stack bar chart we can display multiple data points so if we go to the github repo so here we see that stack bar chart allows us to compare data so coming to our example currently we are showing this day 1 day 2 and day 3 up to day 5 and these are the y axis values but suppose we want to know that for month january these are the values of day 1 up to day 5 and for february these are the values from day 1 to day 5 so we can compare them so for that we will be creating a new data structure basically how this data will look like now if we go to this stack bar chart demo and comment it out so here we will see that this data type is coming from stack bar chart and there is a interface stack bar chart data so we will use it stack bar chart inside this stack bar chart data now i will create a data export const stacked bar chart data and I will assign this to this type now there is this error throwing labels legend data and bar colors so labels so this will remain same this will be same as before now for the data so this is a 2d array each element in this 2d array is itself an array which will shows the day wise data for these two months i will give you an example 10 20 now this is for 10 and 20 is for day one of january and february so here we have five days so that's why we will make five array element so this is for the first one is for January and the second one is for February. So I will give it 50, suppose 20, then 40 and then 30. So for February, all of the values are same. Another thing is the bar color. Bar color is the color corresponding to each sub part of one bar. So in total, we are showing here five bars day 1 up to day 5 now in each day 1 we are showing two types of data like two months so january and february so the bar color will be corresponding for these two months january and february suppose for january i give red and for february i give yellow another thing is the legend legend is the identifier for these colors like we say that red is for january so we have to specify it in it now let's take this data and put it in this stack bar chart demo and replace it in the data so this graph is showing but i am getting this error hide legend so let's add this prop hide legend so if we make it true we'll find that the legends have hidden and also the data have gone from here so better we will make it false See. now one issue that is coming here is the color of this data point for the red one is not showing because this color in here itself is also red so we have to give a different color suppose black and now it is showing and another prop that we can add here is suppose i don't want this dotted lines in the background so i will add this prop props for background lines and the stroke zero So these dotted lines have gone 
so that's it for this video if you like this content please like this video and subscribe to this channel